Hi guys, welcome to Android Guide. So I recently reviewed uh, alpha build of uh, Lineage OS 16 uh, for the Poco F1 and uh, after that video went live, a couple of you asked me to do a dedicated video showing uh, the installation process. So here we are and uh, today I'll be showing you how to install Android Pie based Lineage OS 16 on your Poco F1. Let's get started. <laughs> To begin with, you must have uh, unlocked uh, the bootloader of your Poco F1. In case uh, you haven't uh, done that, then uh, I have uh, linked a video in the description box. Check that out and uh, by following that video, you should be easily be able to unlock the bootloader of your Poco F1. Also, uh, you have to make a backup of your data and uh, because and that's because uh, when we will uh, flash Lineage OS, then uh, we will uh, be wiping the data partition. That uh, means your apps, contacts, messages and uh, uh, and the data of the applications, all of that uh, will be wiped. So make a backup of uh, the data. And in case uh, you need uh, guidance for that, I have uh, linked another video in the description box uh, for that as well. Next, you need to download all the requisite files. To do that, open up uh, the XDA thread uh, linked in the description. And uh, from there, download the Pi vendor and the Lineage OS 16 zip. An important thing here is that uh, the Pi vendor that you are going to use that must uh, be compatible uh, with the Lineage OS build that uh, you have downloaded. Uh, if you use an incompatible vendor then uh, you are uh, likely to run into issues. So if I open up uh, the Pi vendor link that is uh, given in the in the XDA thread I get uh, all these files and uh, looking at these uh, you might get confused as to which file uh, you must download which is uh, the vendor file that will be compatible uh, with the lineage os uh, build that you have downloaded uh, so this can be confusing uh, the best way out of this uh, confusion is that uh, you can go to the pocophone uh, telegram channel and uh, that is linked in the xga thread so if you haven't uh, installed telegram then uh, you will have to do that but uh, once you have got telegram installed and uh, it is set up then uh, go back to the thread click on that link again and uh, then it will open up uh, the pocophone uh, telegram channel and when you are there just uh, tap on uh, the three dotted icon in the top right corner and uh, tap on search and uh, type in hashtag los this will open up uh, the message that was posted in the channel for uh, the latest uh, lineage os uh, build and uh, there you will uh, find another link of uh, pi vendor tap on that and uh, then that will take you to the message that was posted in the channel for uh, the pi vendor that is compatible with the the lineage os build whose uh, message was uh, posted in the first place so uh, if you use uh, the pi vendor from uh, that is uh, linked in there just and uh, these are direct download links by the way so uh, if you use uh, this vendor file then uh, you won't run into any issues so just follow this uh, methodology and uh, uh, you won't have any problems you also have to download uh, the disable force inscription zip from uh, the google drive link given in the description and uh, any google apps package from uh, the website of open g apps in case you are uh, not sure of uh, which g apps package to download then uh, go ahead with the, the nano one I would uh, recommend you to download all the files uh, straight to your phone and uh, there is just a thing that I would like to mention. Leaving out uh, the G apps, all the files that uh, you have to download are uh, posted on Google Drive. Now if you use uh, the Drive app and uh, then uh, try to download any of the files, then uh, Drive will uh, save the files temporarily at uh, this location. If you want to avoid the hassle of uh, retrieving files from uh, this location, then uh, you can make use of this hack. Open up uh, the drive links in incognito, download them and uh, then uh, the files will uh, be saved to the downloads folder instead of uh, that complex path that uh, you just saw. Now that you have uh, downloaded the files, boot into recovery mode. You can uh, do that by powering off your phone and uh, then pressing the power and uh, volume up key simultaneously. When you get into TWRP, go to backup. Select all the options and uh, swipe to backup. Uh, backup will uh, come in handy if uh, anything gets screwed up and uh, you want to go back to the ROM that uh, you were using before. The backup will uh, take some time, so wait patiently. After uh, the backup is complete, go to the wipe section and uh, from there select dalvik slash artcache, cache, system and data. 
then uh, swipe to wipe uh, the selected partitions next go to install and uh, navigate to the folder where uh, the download files are uh, stored and uh, flash them in the following order first select uh, the pi vendor then uh, the lineage os zip follow that uh, with the, the open gapps package and uh, finally uh, select uh, the disable force encryption zip now swipe to confirm flash the flashing process will uh, take some time in uh, my case it uh, took about uh, two and a half minutes to save you the time i will uh, fast forward this part all right once uh, the flashing is complete tap on uh, reboot to system uh, and uh, your phone will now take a while uh, in my case it uh, took about uh, two minutes for uh, uh, the main screen to show up after that you just have to complete uh, the setup process i will uh, skip through all the option uh, so that i can uh, show you guys uh, the about phone screen Before we go there, I will go to settings, system, advanced, updated and uh, there you can see lineage OS 16 and uh, the build date of uh, the ROM is also mentioned and uh, that is November 4, 2018. I will uh, go back and uh, now I will open up uh, about phone. The Android version is uh, 9 as you can see and uh, when I tap on it, we get this uh, pop up. Tapping uh, several times on uh, the Android version, we now uh, get uh, the Pi Easter egg. And uh, when you tap several times on that Easter egg, then uh, you will get another Easter egg. Uh, this one is a drawing screen. Pretty cool. There are a lot of options to choose from actually. You can uh, choose uh, the stroke width, and uh, then there is an eraser too. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's a nice little tool if you want to just make some quick drawings and uh, then maybe take a screenshot and uh, share that with your friends. So there you have it guys, we have uh, successfully installed Lineage OS 16 uh, on the Poco F1. I will uh, also be having a review out uh, of uh, one of the, the newer builds of uh, Lineage OS. So to get alerted about that video, make sure you are uh, subscribed to the channel. And uh, if you like this video, then uh, do give this video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day, take care, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.